That was the weather was beautiful today. There's the uh, the SR118 motor kicking in. Smooth lift off. Very smooth. And you weighted that down because, uh, as uh, Jenny was telling us yesterday, it's a pretty sporty rocket. Yeah, it would have gone too fast. We had to add about a hundred thousand pounds of ballast. So we the uh, the the booster targets a certain dynamic pressure and a certain speed for us to initiate a board. And again, the quick look data looks like they hit the target right on. Wow. It was a little bit over 52-ish seconds or so. Uh, nominal is supposed to be 55. We'll get the data to tell us exactly when. There's a close-up shot and uh, just about getting ready to ha see that launch abort system pull Orion away. Correct. The big motor, 400,000 pounds of thrust is going to, there it goes. There it is. 400,000 pounds of thrust. And now you're going to start to see the attitude control motor at the top is going to start to pitch the vehicle over. And as you look at that, it it is there oriented. It it, there it is. Getting There's that heat pitch. shield forward, right? Yes, exactly. So when the jettison motor fires, the crew module drops out and it's pointed in exactly the right direction. And that, that was the data point we wanted to see the the conditions, if you will, when the crew module dropped off. And there it was, jettison motor, and here's the crew module descending, just like we planned. Perfectly. And there do you see the launch abort system tumbling away. Um, Orion, the test article, started coming down. No parachutes here, Mark, and there's a reason for that. Yes. We, uh, we simplified the test article. We wanted to get this test done as early and as quickly as possible. We're going to use the results from today to inform our planning for the first human flight, X, uh, Artemis II. So we wanted to get this test done quickly. We simplified the crew module test article because it was all about the launch abort system today. And it performed pretty well. By all accounts, it was magnificent. During that point, the EDRs were ejected. And so you've got your preliminary data. You'll be able to go over the broadcast data that was sent to you. But then you've got those EDRs as a backup. Yep. It, the team's going to take a couple hours this morning. We'll get quick look data report number two. And, uh, and then it'll take a couple of months to go through the detailed data. And we'll look at everything, all of the pressures, the flight, flight trajectories, the internal motor parameters to make sure everything worked just as expected. And now, uh, you've mentioned this a few times before, where does this take us? Once you've got this successful test under your belt, what are you looking towards now? Well, we have a total, before we fly humans for the first time on Orion, we have a total of four flight tests. Two abort tests with today, uh, we are done with flight testing the abort system. We flew exploration flight test one, which is, was an orbital flight test. The next flight is Artemis one, a little over a year from now, which will be the Orion crew module returning uh, to the moon. And that'll be exciting. Yes. And then Artemis two, which will put the uh, first woman and the next man on the moon. Yes, a really a great, great step forward today for the team. Congratulations again, Mark, to you and your team. Great job. It was uh, fun to watch for all of us here, both in the uh, MDC at the Hangar AE as well as out there along the Space Coast. I'm yeah. sure we all uh, enjoyed seeing not only the show, but also knowing that it was a success. Yeah, thanks, Daryl. And thanks, thanks to the Orion team. Great, great day today. Congratulations to all. And that's going to conclude our coverage of Ascent Abort 2 for Mark Kirisich, Ashley Tarpley, and for all of us here at NASA, thank you for joining us. We now leave you with replays of the flight test from a number of different camera angles. And remember, keep looking up.